Hi, welcome back to lesson two. So um, we've already made ourselves a program and so far we've um, all we've done is printed out Hello World to the console. Um, now what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to make MonoDevelop slightly better. Um, some of you guys might have downloaded already uh, Visual Studio and you'll be using Visual Studio instead. So instead of running MonoDevelop you run Visual Studio. Um, you can use either. Um, Visual Studio is brilliant um, but it is a much bigger download and there's a lot more um, to it so uh, it's slightly harder to use. So we're going to stick with MonoDevelop and I'll just show you how to make sure that you're actually running MonoDevelop. So we're going to run um, into the edit menu of Unity here and we'll just go into preferences. So edit and then preferences and if you scroll down to external tools you'll see here um, it lists Visual Studio, um, which I use most of the time, um, or Mono Developer, and that's the one we're going to use for this series of tutorials. So make sure this is uh, selected Mono Develop, and then you can just close this window <coughs> when Mono Develop comes up. So if you double click on um, your script, because you've now set that to uh, Mono Develop, you can close Visual Studio, you can run, um, double click on the script, and it'll open up Mono Develop. Now, um, Mono develop is okay um, by default, but there's a couple of things that we can do to help. Um, you'll you probably saw when I started typing in um, print, it came up with what's called code completion, IntelliSense, um, and and it allows you to choose something from your menu. Um, by pressing Tab there, it actually added in the brackets. Um, if I do the bracket myself it doesn't automatically add in the extra bracket so we can we can have it do those things um, I'm just gonna uh, also change the color scheme as well so if we go through these um, you'll only need to do it once I hope um, but if you just go into tools and then you go down to options um, and there's a couple of things that um, that we can do to make it look better so um, in the options menu if you scroll down You'll see where it says, um, a, not there, that one's um, the, in general, um, the line endings conversion. You'll see it's got this convert to Windows line endings down the bottom. Um, if you choose always convert line endings, then it just does it for you and you don't have to stress. Um, there's also inside um, behavior. There is insert matching braces. I like to do that one. And the smart semicolon placement. Sometimes you get the semicolon in the wrong place and it'll put it in the right place for you. I also like to format the document on save. Um, that way it'll make it look pretty. Um, if we go down to the, um, not code completion, syntax highlighting, you'll see there's different um, themes you can choose from. There's a, a Visual Studio theme, Tango, Solarized, um, Oblivion, Nightshade, um, any one of these. Um, I actually quite like the Oblivion. It's a, um, a fairly dark theme, um, and the colours are quite quite nice. Um, a lot easier on the eye when you're programming for a long time. Um, also, we're going to move a little bit further down where it says Code Formatting, and then we're going to choose C Sharp Code. Now, if you um, if you see by default when it creates the files it puts the curly brackets um, not in line with each other and because curly brackets are so important I, I like to put them back in line with each other and the default mono um, the policy that we have set up here doesn't do that by default so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the policy for C sharp code C sharp source code to Visual Studio um, that makes it behave a little bit more like Visual Studio and that will put these in line um, I'm just going to click OK right now. Now, um, if you do Control S um, when you've done this, I'm going to convert that line in. If you do Control S, um, you'll see that it's put these in line, and that's really important. The curly brackets being in line um, helps you to um, work out where the blocks of code start and end without having to to, to look through um, ones that aren't in line. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. It's a nice simple one. Um, we've not done much more um, other than set up Mono Develop a little bit better. Um, in the next video we're going to start coding and uh, we're going to start working a little bit more on what exactly is, um, is in front of us right here.